Were you here to pick up a prescription today? I am. Okay. Um, who are you picking up for? For my husband, Robert Stark. Okay. Yep. And I do see we have one here for him today. Um, it is a new medication. Um, would it be okay if I took about five minutes to go over it with you? Sure. Um, I just want to go over how to for him to take the medication and um, just let you know of any side effects or concerns that you might want to have with the medication. Okay. All right. So first, um, I'm just going to verify that we've got the correct information here for him. Um, I've got the date of birth of 42274 mm -hmm. and the address um, still on Hickman Road. Yes. And then the phone number, the 2713898. Correct. All right. Um, what medical conditions does Robert have? We have noted that he has hypertension. Does he have any other medical conditions? None? No. Um, does he have any allergies that you're aware of? No. None? Okay. Um, and I see that he picks up amlodipine from us. Is he still taking that? Yes. Uh, does he take any other medications? Sometimes he takes ibuprofen. Ibuprofen. When he's sore from work, but other than that, no. Okay, does he take any other um, over-the-counters, vitamins, no. supplements? No. Samples from the doctor? No. Nope. All right. Okay, so it looks like I've got all the information verified that I needed. Um, so now it's time for me to go over the medication. Um, so the new one that I have here today for Robert is the Cialis. Um, the brand or the brand name is Cialis, which is what he'll be getting today. The generic name is the Tadalafil. It's not available as a generic yet, so that's why you are getting the brand name. Um, what was Robert taking this medication for? Uh, apparently to improve our sex life. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely one of the uses for it. it can be used for erectile dysfunction. So, yep, yeah, that's definitely what it can be used for. Um, do you know how the doctor told Robert to take this medication? I have no idea. Okay, so um, the doctor wrote to take one tablet by mouth as directed. Um, wrote for a quantity of 10 tablets. So how he'll take this one is he'll take it um, 30, minutes, 30 minutes before um, sexual activity. And that just allows some time for it to um, take effect. Um, but yeah, um... What did the doctor tell you to expect with this medication? I don't know. I wasn't there. You weren't there. And he's too embarrassed to commit mm -hmm. himself, so mm -hmm. I don't know. That's okay. Yeah, so um, you should, um, he should have an erection, you know, within that 30 minutes. Um, it does take an hour to get to its, you know, full effect, so maybe a little bit longer. Um, as with all medications, there are some risks for some side effects. Um, with this one, he might see some flushing, um, increased blood pressure, which he, I see he takes the amlodipine for his blood pressure, so it might increase the blood pressure and it might also cause headache. Uh, but of course he's not going to be taking this medication probably every day, so um, he'll probably only maybe notice those side effects when he, the days that he takes the medication. Um, and as with all medications, there is um, risk for um, rare um, but serious side effects. Um, this one can cause um, increased heart rate and palpitations or fluttering of the heart. Um, so if he notices that, that's something to let the doctor know. Um, they might not want him to take it anymore. Um, the doctor didn't put any refills on this one, um, so they might want him just to try it out, see how it works, um, and just kind of go from there. Um, I checked to see if there were any drug, drug interactions. Um, it might increase the effects of the amlodipine a little bit, so his blood pressure might get a little bit lower. Um, so just something to kind of watch out for. Um, where do you store your medications normally? Where does he store his medications? The top shelf of the kitchen. Okay, yeah, that's a great place for it, just to make sure you know it's away from any moisture and heat, and um, obviously out of the reach of any children or pets. Um, does Robert drink any grapefruit juice or eat grapefruits? No. no. Okay, you don't have to worry about that. Then this medication, or the grapefruit juice can increase the effects of the medication, so just something to kind of keep in mind if he um, drinks any grapefruit juice. Um, I know I went through a lot here. Um, do you have any questions for me? So his blood pressure is well controlled now. Mm -hmm. Is this going to mess with that? Um, actually, so they wrote it for 10 tablets. Um, the way I look at that, he's probably not going to be taking it every day. Um, if he was taking the medication every single day, it might increase his blood pressure. Um, but on the flip side of that, it also increases the effects of his amlodipine, which lowers the blood pressure. So it might balance out a little bit. Um, did you have any other questions about that? No. Did you have any other additional questions? No. Okay, so 
I know we went through a lot. Um, could you just um, summarize some of the main points um, that we went through today? I'm supposed to take one about 30 minutes before activity. Mm -hmm. um, might have some side effects to mm -hmm. look out for. 